Hello everybody and welcome to episode 42 of Pick with a Thousand Year Door. This time we saved the Pianta Syndicate, got a ticket for the train, and now we're about to board the train. This train is bound for luxurious, costly heights. Will you be boarding today? Wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Watch your step, please. All aboard! All aboard! Access Express. This is so deluxe, man. Three days to Pashi Heights are gonna be over like that. Oh. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. Where did that get here? That's just taunting me with that shine spite there that I couldn't use. Don't go to Pashi Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits. Oh. Oh, what a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Belden's work, do you? Whatever this psycho is, I gotta figure... You gotta figure they're on this train, right? You gotta get this nut before anything bad goes down this train. Oh, yeah. There's a dried shroom in the... Every room, check those things. Those are some hidden items in them. Shrine spike. So using Yoshi's one a little more. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hello to you and welcome to the Access Express. I am the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Moyo from Moon 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. So now we go back. Hesitation. This smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the part of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that would do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery you just said. And, um, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I'm a detective. No, I never could guess. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a sort of nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our portraiture took the whole pot, stew and all, and this esteemed friend leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Mm, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt a need to practice my accusation skills, you understand? Yes, sorry. Ahem, very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? 
This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Aw, oh, this scene is total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You're so highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Zip Toad the actor? No. Way, Mr. Detective Paulson. You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say it is all such a horrible, horrible thrashing, but well then, who did it then? Hmm, this puzzle just deepens with every confounding step. Hey, look, three spots fall of them. Ooh, there are traces of something on the carpeting. Whoa, there's some spilled steel on the carpet. Nasty, I almost stepped in. We can just follow the trail to the thief, don't you think? You know what? It might be the nut who made the sticky, yummy flat. Did you say that? Still, you probably do other bad stuff, right? Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room 6 so we can So that we may discuss this in private. Oh, I guess we turn the pot to, chef, to the chef. Good. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, or me. It was just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Ah, uh, why am I... Must I butcher this language so? So shameful. Please take it! I... rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is a sticky young malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in this room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it was decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. 
To be your delight, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the Penguin with the probably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you not tell me. I should deduce your identity. That mustache. That nose. Ho oh, ho ho, all too easy. You sir, are quite ob obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared to in his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. The family of Bavons, they are definitely suspect. Now Luigi, we will, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. There are several detective novels here. He's our little bug. His present, obviously, needs to be much more. Expensive and utterly gaudy. I mean, don't you think so? Because that way, clearly, you'll remember it longer. And that's why you need to think long and hard about what I'm saying. Do you hear me talking? He needs something. Useful, dear, not a toy. And that is why you must just use your brain and... Think just a little bit harder on exactly what I'm saying to you. No, 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 my dear. I must think more about the bug's future. Yeah. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. Wish I bought my GBA. Talk to him. There's been a lot of noise coming from roommate with the Goldball family. I guess they're having a little domestic squabble. Now that's not that it's my business. Wait, what happened here? I missed a step here. Am I supposed to talk to the main tent again? Take heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared intent to yummify the train. Sticky family. Same thing you just said. It's not working the way it's supposed to right now. Either one. Oh, that. <sighs> I think we should get Little Bob, the advanced loaner's classic series of Bob Armory. Two words, cheap and boy. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Bob. Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. <sighs> I don't want any of those stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Or so. Think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Hey, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Now you talk to this guy. I can hear him and the family's fighting out about having a clear from out here. One thing I thought it was cute. Boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What's an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that? I go all the way to the front of the
running this train down the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So that's all here at the Access Express. Who's on? Who's on? Oh no. Back. Must have missed something in the back. All the way up. Starts with an A, got it. Here's your second hint. So, salt and potions autograph. Now you got it, don't you? Okay, so. That's what I forgot. Now we go all the way to the front of the tree. Good detective. There's something for you. Just like I said. Sh shine spite. Here's the autograph. I take good care of my iPhones. Why I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. Last place, my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. Means someone came on board without a ticket. That story just might be a suspect, Mr. Mario. Only that, but with my blanket back, I'm too chilly to sleep tonight. If you take a look at the unticket passenger, with that ticket, thank you. And thank you. Make it PI. Oh, great. Well, I have to keep watch here, and I'll be waiting for the good news. I'm not sure if we have to talk to him. I'm not taking any chances. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger? Just as I suspect. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? When we were hunting in lone intruder. I would definitely rule out family in cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today. I slip the apprentice. I will strike out on your own. With that lone nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have no other hint to share if I choose. I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the integrated pastor is without a doubt a yummy, sticky suspect. No, it's not. And we know all three rooms back there have people in it. There's one room that has nobody in it. Just happens to be the room right next to ours. Come in here. Get Vivian up and hide. A ghost. So you found me. 
Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. Of course, to haunt this place. Link it. Oh, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. The Emmy secret threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Oh, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Okay. All I need is your life. No, just kidding. Naturally, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage cart. So my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And the fear is that someone who find it, read it, has kept me tied to this wall. Can't leave this room. So can you please find it, bring it here. If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary. And if you do, ooh, 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 a horrible fate awaits you. Wow. Now you go all the way back to the conductor. Did you find it? Uh, uh. What? A ghost? Eek! And, and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the package call? I see. Well, go on in. Don't say no to ghosts. Here, torn paper. Got a ragged diary. Diary the ghost cat. You shouldn't read it. And really, do not read it. I'll let you know when the only time you can read it, but not yet. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I can't leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Go back to room. Back to the train car that he's in. Go in his room yet. Yeah. I want to read the diary. Save your game. Now. Once your game is saved, you can open and read the diary. Read the diary? Oh sure, what the heck. Maybe caused by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? This, this could be really, really bad. You understand me? Oh sure, what the heck. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked, even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. It's an automatic game over. Imagine you haven't saved your game in an hour, and you open the diary to read it. Kick you all the way back here. Okay, save your game before you do that. Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, you blanket is right here. How'd he hand it to me if he said he couldn't touch things? You got a blanket. You're very wise not to read my diary. Read it. You might be a spirit like me right now. And I can go on peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it. Oh, people, so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> and now we go all the way back to the conductor again.
So, Mr. Moyo, how did it go? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course our yummy and sticky mischief makers, they're at large. Oh hey, before I forgot, forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Uh, it's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. Find the conductor of the excess exhaust. Want that mushroom? Oh yeah, they think the same person. Just all in this. I see, so it was not in fact our yummy stick the suspect, just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It's getting rather late. Let's turn in and walk on this case tomorrow. Let's grab a few wings, huh? Train voyage day two. Talk to Pennington. Kinda of weird to get an email for uh, shops and all that while we're stuck on a train that we can't even go get anything on. Ah, oh, my dear T Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, even a new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I lose my job at the least. Hey there, calm yourself. The next part is vital. Tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Soap. We use Pop Leaf's amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then the results are explosive. The resulting goo glass would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shot. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen the goo glass. Though you definitely had it yesterday. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rumidin. Rudimentary. I do it. Rumidin. Yeah, that worked very well. The thief is still on the train. Really? Never would have guessed. Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They both lost something on this train. We just lost shell earrings. The lady Toodles lost some cold rings. Luigi, the same person who stole those objects, also has the nitro honey sword. They could make this goo balance. They could carry out the threat in the note. For the simple Luigi, we must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. So, go talk to the waitress. You totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Wow, okay. So I lost these show earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. They're really, like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? So two of this also is here for me. I don't know if I 
Megaton. Hello, good morning. Isn't the weather nice today? Days like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's later we get to the end. Oh, I know when. I know when you get to the end. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're a marvelous deal. You solved a rather a tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ugly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold wing that I lost somewhere on this very train. Would you please hasten the soldier along with me? Boldly brilliant man, you. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Let's check this out. Is there a postcards and glossy featuring zip toad inside? Okay, that's not. Got a vital paper. Let me take that all the way to thinning thing. Contracts from my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this important uh, clue? Uh. Happened one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's place I've long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train. It's one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Now the ghost gets you. We'll also check his uh, nightstand and see if there's what I'm looking for. Because one of the rooms has it. Not my room, I know. Look at that. There's nothing here. Here's a bolt pop. Seems like there is someone in your room. I heard someone want some rushing sound to know a minute ago. There was the hint. Be another clue. This paper is just like the last one. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Well, how do we people out? Zow, where'd you come from? Don't be catching me that easily, guy. Yeah! That was pretty easy. So this was all man all along, pretending to be Z Zip Toad, I see. All the while, all the while, piffling things from other plans to aid you with the plan. Yes, this was all just as I deduced. I knew all along you were fake. Yes, discolored nostril hair took me off. Not only that, but I knew you, that you were the one who threatened to reach me. Cause it's not going to wait with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Played a dare, daring and ingenious little game, my friends. The jig is up now, feed. Good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, so no one escapes from this probably large train. Ahem. <laughs> well, yes, in any case, at least we told them what you've stolen, I think. Briefcase. Got a gold ring. Got a show you. Ah! My precious briefcase. Is the natural honey so safe? Yes, sweet. Oh, thank you, thank you. I think the stars are safe. 
That won't get the sound. A rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention, all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Found my gold ring, mystery sniffing master. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my own thanks. And do take care. Did you find them? My share of earrings? Ooh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. Stop it. You are like the nicest old mustache old wall wearing guy I ever met. I'm gonna check something, because I know one of the rooms has it. Let's see, is it room seven? Nothing in here. And maybe it is deep. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. There it is. You got a star piece. There was one of the rooms. It makes sense to you guys. Okay, now we make it to the front of the train. Lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used so, in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask passengers to do this, but. Since you are the famous lawyer and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Really? That would be super. Well, here's the station key. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toe, he was some monstrous being but in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. It was a rather slippery sort. You could have questioned him about all that bit of the business. Well, that's it for this episode. Next time, go in the station and lower the drawbridge. Bye.